I recently happened upon a YouTube video that's currently making the rounds. It might just be the saddest thing I've seen in recent memory. Melancholy aside, this short video also makes for a profound cautionary tale when it comes to the virus that is Islamofascism. Simply put, the video is a montage of amateur film clips shot in Afghanistan, Iran, and Libya. The first part is comprised of clips from the 1960s and 70s. Just call that time period the proverbial good old days. To show you what I mean by that, just check out what these Islamic republics used to look like just a few decades ago. As you saw, very western looking societies, places where once upon a time down at the beach a bikini was far more commonplace than a burqa. But as the saying goes, that was then and this is now. Let's fast forward the video to check out how the same countries look today. As you'll see, things are slightly different now. The contrast of then and now is stunning and tragic, but the cautionary part of this tale is that a society beholden to Sharia law doesn't necessarily take bloom at the flick of a switch. Rather, it's often a gradual process. A Sharia society tends to manifest itself bit by bit, inch by inch, and it begins with the little things, things like M103, the motion that condemns Islamophobia. It begins with allowing for gender apartheid mini-mosques in public schools. It begins by having taxpayer-funded segregated swimming pools. And it's all aided and abetted by those primarily on the left, aka the useful idiots, those who will bend over backwards to offer reasonable accommodation to certain groups and individuals that embrace an ideology that is neither reasonable nor accommodating. That's where we find ourselves today in Canada and other Western democracies. Instead of standing up for Western exceptionalism and Western values, we are cursed with political elites who consider terminology such as Western values to be embarrassing. And in the name of misguided appeasement, these people are only too happy to make the West more like the East. The point is, Slowly, ever so slowly, the line moves. And then one day, maybe it's a few years from now, maybe it's a few decades from now, you look out the window and you say to yourself, what the hell happened to my country? For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw then, click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.